Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. You are watching this video right now, which means you are alive. Congrats, but how much longer can you keep it up? Some of the oldest living people on Earth are in their hundreds. How do they do it? What causes old age in the first place, and what happens when we finally kick the can? Let's find out. The verified oldest person on Earth lived to be 122 years old. That's a lot of years. One woman claims to currently be 127 years old, but sadly she lost her birth certificate, aka her proof, around 40 years ago, so it's tough to know if her age is the truth. Average life expectancy can vary greatly depending on different factors. Diet, exercise, and even happiness levels can add or subtract years from your life. Where you live can even affect how long you live. Japan is currently in the lead with an 84.6 year overall life expectancy. Angola comes in last with a 30 38.2 year overall life expectancy. Let's get down to what actually happens when the body shuts down. I don't have any cells in my body, but you do, and just because a person is technically dead doesn't mean all of their cells are dead yet. Most cells stop receiving oxygen as the heart stops beating, while some cells keep on keeping on with the rest of the death process. The body temperature drops at a rate of around 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit per hour until it reaches the temperature of its environment. One of my favorite phases is rigor mortis. This is when muscles are caused to contract and stay tense from anywhere between 24 to 48 hours by a flood of calcium in the body. Kinda creepy. But why do we die in the first place? What causes our bodies to age? You can thank cells for this one, folks. Each day, billions of your cells die to make way for new ones. Cells in your gastrointestinal tract are constantly reproducing, but for other parts of the body, like muscles or nerves, the cells can't really reproduce even though they last for a long time. They have to be replaced by cells from elsewhere in the body. We are constantly trying to replace these cells, and it makes the body weaker over time. Some scientists suggest that the DNA in your cells can contains the plans to when you kick the bucket right when you're born. You can slow down the time it takes to reach your natural death, but you can't actually stop it. Your DNA strands have caps at the end of them called telomeres. Each time the cell replaces itself, the telomeres get shorter and the protection wears down. One popular way of looking at it is to think of them like the plastic tips on the end of your shoelace. If they wear down, your shoelace will wear down, or biologically age. Would you rather die of old age or live forever? I personally would rather live forever because I'll have so much more to talk about. Leave your answer in the comment section below or tell us, what should we talk about next? Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. And if you want even more Life Noggin, check out these other episodes and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Links are below. I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.